In the midst of an ongoing and deepening housing crisis in the city, this November, Dublin City Councillors will be asked by officials to gift prime public land at the Oscar Trainer to a private developer. This will result in unaffordable houses being delivered. We can and we must do better. Hi, my name is John Lyons. I'm a Dublin City Councillor with Independent Left and I'm here today on the Oscar Trainer Road site owned by Dublin City Council. Just to give you an idea of exactly where we are, to the south of this site is the Lorcan Estate over in this direction. To the west we have the M1 Port Tunnel. To the north is Kulock Lane and the Oscar Trainer Road itself. And to the east we have the community of Kilmore, uh, which also includes the Northside Shopping Centre, which is about a 10 minute walk from here. The current deal to develop the Oscar Trainer Road site here between Dublin City Council, the owners of this public land, and a private developer, Glen Bay, will see 853 residential units built. Unfortunately, 50% of the units, 428 to be precise, are going to be sold by the developer on the open market at unaffordable prices out of reach of most middle and low income people. Individuals, couples and families struggling at the moment in the city of Dublin. This city is very expensive, one of the most expensive cities in the whole of Europe. Why? Because of the cost of housing. Rents are sky high, house prices are completely out of reach out of most people that I know. What we do need to see on this site is truly affordable public, affordable rental and affordable purchase. That is why when in November, Dublin City Councils are asked to transfer this land over to the private developer, we must reject that particular proposal. We have alternatives. We can truly deliver the affordable housing that so many people in Dublin need. So we need to reject the deal in November and get about the business of developing a new proposal, which will see public housing, affordable rental and affordable purchase built on this prime public land. It is the very least the people of Dublin deserve. Hi, my name's Amanda. I'm a hairdresser and a mother to a seven-year-old beautiful little girl. I have been very successful in, in managing salons for a number of years. In the meantime, I've also had my own blow drying and styling bar. But despite every effort made by myself, I've never been able to obtain a home of my own. Now, this is a parent to soul destroyed, not to be able to provide the stable environment for your child. Recently, though, I have been lucky enough to secure affordable rented accommodation. This has been life changing for me and my daughter. It's things like the face on her with full of excitement when she's shown off a new room to her friends. It's the having her nanny over for a sleepover at the weekends. It's movie nights. It's just playing with her toys in her own private room. It's just my sense of purpose as well and independence as a parent to be able to do this for my daughter. I believe everybody deserves the opportunity to be able to experience what I have experienced now. And I believe that the public land here on Oscar Trainer could do that for so many people. Hi, my name's Nicole and I just live with Plunchock in the local area. Um, and I've just recently heard about the Oscar Trainer um, development plan. We need to have affordable, you know, rent. We need to have affordable housing for the young generation and stop locking them out of the market at extortion rates, um, especially on public land that is being gifted to private developers. Another plan needs to be put in place or we're going to continue having a generation of people over 30 and upwards in their box bedroom still living at home in their mother's house because they can't get onto the market. Hey, my name's Claire. I grew up just around the corner in Kilmore in affordable public housing. I'm lucky enough to own my own house now and to have bought it when houses were affordable. And I want other people to have the same opportunity as I did. People from this area, people on the average wage. And I think a development like this, if it was done the right way, is the way to do that. We need you to get involved. And to do that, we need you to contact your local councillor, sign the uplift petition and share this video on social media.